quite a lot. Right, so today's job is get that in back of that um, I think we might have to grind these off here Not all on bolts, we can bolt all that lot All of some bolts All comes off I'm going to take that off And then just figure out how to take this off here And then it should sit flat in back of that van Two to four, I ain't got hope that works, so I've got to fix forklift before I can even start. A diesel problem. I don't think it's getting enough diesel from up from down there somewhere. Man. I don't know if tanks got some shit in it to be fair. It's still pumping up though, yeah. That's gone hard that it's got diesel in it. Look how diesel up to it. Yeah, I'm a bit suspect. No, I've got diesel. I've got a check brake light on dash and I can't see discs from where it is so I've got to take wheels off but I can't get them off with art uh, um, 4 to 1 multiplier
got a big sledgehammer. and they look pretty good. What's that? Oh, I need to get my torch. Have a look at that back one. It's coming in for cat scan now. We've had lab inspector, now we've got cat scan on go. Yeah, it's just here, it's a bit noisy. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, that looks alright, that. Plenty of mate left on them. Let's try them back ones.
Now this one looks like we're going to need discs and pads I don't really need to see it pads to be fair I just know that that disc is no good for me so I'm going to put a new disc on it It's quite a big lip I don't know if you can see that It's quite a big lip there and there So I think I'm the same again on back I can feel it on back you see my finger there's a lip on that one so can't really see it. brake shoes but I don't think it matters because pistons look like they're at yeah I could do it again a torch gun so you could see but yeah I'm gonna order some discs rear discs and rear pads day later and uh, I've got my brake discs so I don't know if this is true or not but every time I've done brakes just crack that because you're pushing piston back and it's going to push juice back up so I always got told it's, it's level on that it's on that line there so it can it can go up some anyway yeah, I always got told just to crack that, I don't know why, but I always do it anyway. I don't know the reasoning behind it, but... for 
this and pad spot rear and sensors. So not too sure on how these come off. But we'll have a look. I'm presuming I've got to take them off there. I don't know what this is. That's stub end, that's axle end. That's half shaft. Surely I shouldn't have to take half shaft out. Well, let's figure it out. Not too sure on how to get this off. It shouldn't be that tight. It shouldn't, it shouldn't yeah. be that tight. It's only odd in there, isn't it? Put a, mark, a mark on that one, we're exactly the same. Part. I'll just do it with wheel and bearing, innit? That's what you have to do. I reckon these are going to be tight. It's on. It is, but I'm not about to turn that. Has it got a bar? It's got a Oh, that's tight. I need a bar on it. Can you go to the other side? It's the side, isn't it? Oh, it's too big. Bar's too big. You can't get on it. What about your socket? Yeah, you can't get on it. Put the ring on it then and try brain it with hammer. No need to slacken it, don't they? Nothing needs doing anyway. Oh, it's up, yeah, it's trying to go up with it. Can you just odd it? I'll turn this way. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go. Yeah, wait then. Oh, 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 it's coming off. And again. It's done. Keep it up, Michael. Yeah, know, it's me old <laughs> I'll just do. Yeah, it's on steady weight now. It'll come off that. Not the fingers it with. Well, I could put over ratchet on it now, though. I'll get gun on that. I'll get gun this side. Yeah, right. It's cut. We can't. Can't get socket on it. That'll do it. When I've got it on. Do you want me to get underneath and push it up with you? Or do you think you'll be able to lift it at that? I might be able to lift it. Just watch your arms on. Right. Yeah, go on. Yeah, it's going. Uh, I might be able to get that, Dad. Pull up that up. Get this cable, might have that too. It should just, unplug, yeah. Just a sensor, isn't it? Oh, that's ABS one, that one. Yeah. There's another one for. Oh, Brake liner, yeah, that's it. That lip's odding it in. Not shoes out there, they're saying. I'm going to need to take them off though, yeah. Size of them. Alan Kay. I won't get on that then, Alan Kay. You will. Um, Smart, someone's dropped off then. Rust. Them pistons, 
and then pistons will go back eventually. Is it moving now? Yeah, it's, it's gone. So much to drop this piston on that. Try some at top, mate, no. Yeah. Well, it'll go fucking shot <laughs> it for the other, isn't it? <laughs> it's not done no damage, has it? Try them up against. I remember how they go. Try them up against it. Bloody on that though. Oh, wait till I see it in your hands. Little one. It's them what stop it from. It's not. I don't think pods are that bad. It's this disc that's that's causing that sensor to flag up. I think. Oh shit. Oh that'll I thought they were done then. There is a bit on them then. There's a bit left on these shoes, so I'm gonna lay them. With it being an auto, I'll not need handbrake so much, am I? Yeah, that's short camera. But the same fitting, aren't they? Them's as uh, them's as new ones. And they're not that bad, there's still plenty of mate left on them. It's it's because of that lip and it's its sensor. Oh well, there it's done. It's worn it away. So I'll just put a new disc on. Chip shit. Chineseism. I could adjust that up a little bit that. Oh I'll, I'll adjust it up, is there a little bit of a slot to that? Oh, yes. I don't want to take that risk when I've done putting air shaft back. Oh, that's getting tight now. Right, I'll flick it back off now. Two turns. I'm alright with that. I don't know, I don't know what we're doing it. Right, move it up a bit because it's just doing it like No, will it go there? Chuck it right, mate. No, there's, there's quite a bit for them pistons to go back, yeah. Look at that, looks like. Look at the thickness of that, and then there's all them new shoes. Go in the middle. Yep. Go on, they're going back then. You don't have to. You don't have to put some pressure on it. Yeah, I know, but it's it's just spinning off. They're up, aren't they? They're going. I can see them. What's moving even right, more? That. Right. Oh, one's champered and one ain't, Dad. And both of these are champered. Look, one there and one there. Yeah, these are. Yeah, same one, it? it can only go. I think that it's that champer's got a good way that wheels go in. So if that's up there. Yeah, that's got a good way that wheels go in. So if wheels travelling forwards, it'll it's that champer. So why is that not that way? It's older champer. I'm not wrong. I don't know. It's stuck in down past there. Yeah, that one's champered there. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Do we know which way that come off? One of these has got a sensor to go on it. I ain't got no copper slick or out. Oh, they might squeal. Just a risk that we ain't got no brake cleaning either. Just a risk that we're going to have to take in it. Keep your fingers off of them. Redneck style. Can you give the arms a clean, mate? I've got to get that on there, not. Oh, it's got to go a long way, that, Dad. I bet that's what that chamfer's for. 
to help me get it on. Right, them big bolts now, foot back. Uh, in toolbox, I think. I think it goes that way. There's something I can prod that on with. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be a convincing fit that like. It's on there. It's only that irritating brake warning link that comes on dash. Yeah, that's why it had failed MOT. And the handbrake one. The inter sensor handbrake, it's just these pads. That's why I had to take wheel off to find out which were which, which were doing it. Now that's I can just I'm not even I can't get on it now. No, I can't get on end of yeah, it's on now. Did it have that race weight and all? Yeah, but it's just put buried in because that picks picks up in that oil there, isn't it? Yeah, had that pick then. No way that goes with that, does it? <coughs> Oh yeah, I'm going to clean that off. I'm just getting it in so I can put it in a place and then get to it. And then I'm going to have to seal that up back and then it's cleaning. That looks like super glue the viewers last time.
I'll edit that. I'll edit that bit hard. It's because I'm getting a bit scared. I thought you were fluid escaping out of Jack. Better low down, or I hope. To be fair, I can't really be asked to climb up there and screw it up there. So, I think it'll be fine there. Yeah. Put this little sun hat on. a centre punch but I ain't got one. I have but it means looking for it. Oh. 
props there. Exhaust there. My wires there. All I've got to do is come across here and go into there. I don't know. That's handbrake. So I don't know. That's just in front of handbrake. So if I just have a look, I've just poked a little hole in it with a screwdriver. I'm going to go and have a look, see what it is. I hope I ain't come straight from the floor. Oh, I have middle of my floor, look. So, I reckon, if I take that off here, whatever this is, I can come under this carpet, this padding, and get to that, and then get my wire in there somewhere, and, I don't know, wire it through this way maybe, I'll we'll see how it goes, and then under here, maybe up here, behind this, and across to here, hopefully, let's have a look. Something. Cool thing about this van, it's got this big old plastic thing here that you can hide this wire inside. No, no, it's for, it's for sensor for lane assist, not lane assist, um, some sort of beeper, lane, lane beeper type thing, I don't know. Right, just for demonstration purposes, I'll put this on here. Um, I'm not sure if it'll. I'm not sure if it'll do it actually, because it's it's a starter pack and not a. Oh, it's on boost. Look at that, see there. How's that van? Factory install. That's going to take some time. This is not safe. It's been white diesel in a shuffling forklift. I know it's been like it for, what, till a year like now. Well, going on a year. Even running compressor on red diesel. It's absolutely, I mean on white diesel. It's absolutely nuts. Barbaric. Greedy government. Greedy government.
soon find out if my uh, forklift is strong enough to lift this now. Perfect, that. If that goes there, I can get that open. Perfect. Can't be much closer than that, though. There, that's alright because that's inside body at that side. I'll show you around on the side. This is perfect and all. If it stays there, I know I'm going to cut them legs off, but. Oh, I'll have to move that. Oh. It wants to go over just a bit, doesn't it? That side wants to just go over. The door's just catching there. Yeah. I can get that anyway. What I'll do is I'll drop that back down. But what I'll do is I'll jack it from here with forks, cut these lugs off, and then sit it on here. Sit this on this. At least we know where it's going now, anyway. It's going there. Let's have a look how it fits on the other side. Fits inside the van anyway. We're going to have to obviously cut them legs off. Cut them feet off and then cut them all under there somewhere, um, midway, in board, middle of chassis somewhere. And then uh, I'll still be able to get to my sump plug. I've cut an old fort tank. I don't know if you can see the tank there. There's a drain there for the tank. That's going to need cutting. And a drain here for oil for um, air side. That'll do. What's that ain't to me there? Oh. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll put a plate on here. So that's capped off. And then uh, open these up. Probably put some louv louvers on here, maybe. So it blows air down or blows it up out of way. But I'm happy with that so far. Only thing I've got to worry about. Oh, I've got a nice little area here where I might um, put a water tank. I'd still use it as a service area, but I might put a water tank here. Just a 200 litre or something, just as a buffer for uh, jet wash. Probably a wheelie bin will do job. I don't worry about this, I can, um, what I'll do with this is, I don't know if you can see it here, you see that manifold there, them two 10 mils are there, no 13 mils, them two 13 mil bolts there, I'll take that manifold off, and I don't know if you can see that, uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it, end up manifold, there's a flexi pipe, well I'll put this, fill, I'll put this, uh, this cooler in here, and there's a flexi pipe that comes from the bottom of the cooler over to here. So all I'll do is I'll take that off that manifold, bolt it here somewhere, and then just have a 
I can't get a T-piece from there. I, oh, you can just about see it now. No, you can't see it. Um, I'll just bolt that there. It's only a matter of moving that flexi from that side. It's quite a big job actually, because I've got to take all this front off. But, that's in. That's in, that's behind curtain. Like it was designed for there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So definitely I'm gonna be able, I'm gonna have to what they call it. I'm gonna have to run it with my curtains open. So I'm gonna have to put curtains back here somewhere. I could probably put another bulkhead in it. I don't need all that do I? I don't even need all that height. But no, oh, well, it is what it is. And that's what's left of that. Can I try it on them tyres? I've ended up putting it too far over. I think I have. Yeah. Bottom of tank. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera. Yeah, that, that's bottom of tank there. I want that to sit just through the chassis, so it's going to sit through just this timber. I'm going to cut an hole for it, but it was sat on that one. It was sat on that, that girder there, so now it's, it's clear of that, hopefully. And then that pipe down there that one that one actually misses it as well so I'll just move back to there that'll miss that as well so all I've got to do is drill that hole down there and cut that hole out there and then make a little bit of an hole for some hole but uh, can't find the electric grinder nowhere and this one keeps running out of charge it's got oh it's overheated this one Got a battery in a bit, but I think it's overheated. I think it's got too hot. pissed it down earlier yesterday so we're back again today all I've done is taken that front off of here and just unbolted it from here along here There's a couple of 13 mils here well the plan is I've got to take this off here so I'm going to get this remade this is what I put on I put this one on up to here so that we could uh, get a cooler working it's just not quite big enough this cooler
which is back from uh, having an inspection everything's passed it's been for a DVSA inspection as well as a, um, an MOT and you'll not believe I actually got uh, a road prohibition notice and I weren't allowed to drive it drove to MOT centre everything's fine you're allowed to do that then it went into DVSA and they inspected it and then he said it needed recovering because it's got a defect a, ser a serious defect where it can't drive on public roads so I'm thinking oh what is that defect what's this going to be yeah turns out you'll not believe what it is I need to even believe this myself but I'm just going to cover my details up here um, where are we? that's that's defects and it is because one of the tyres not nothing wrong with the tyre it's still inflated still got plenty of tread it's just got the date on it and it made it over 10 years old wait a minute see, why is this camera doing that yeah made it over 10 year old so I had a it got prohibitioned to, to get sorted there and then or get it recovered or whatever but we sorted that anyway that we're at this bit it fits like a glove inside this container inside this curtain cider it's that's that's the sheet off at back so when you open it it's all, all wind all air it'll grab air from that side and blow it through all its vital points when it needs to get air over and it'll blow it out there instead of blowing it straight up and out here it'll blow it out of that bit and out of these so i've got to have this open You've got to keep these shut and all do some so that not not me i'm just following operator's manual so i've got some shite in here already but not quite enough um let me get back here so i've come from compressor i put that lead on there that's off my old blast well off my blast pot comes up here goes into its water trap so then it's going to filter its water filter air from cool so it gets cold it gets cooled in cooler and then it pumps its air through here that separates water so it's like a first water trap this is a water and oil trap and a separator for particles you can do it you can do a bit of research on them and then this is i put manifold here on this one so that's that's that manifold off at front of that other one so everything's all nicely nice and neat now i'm going to run my blast pot from here from this pipe to my blast pot um what we got here i showed you that uh, I fixed that one, see ya? I didn't have, I've got loads of these handles, but just not one that fits that. So, I'm in a nice little bodge. Works a treat. But I don't, I'm not gonna use that no more, I'm gonna use this one. Cause I ain't got no more of that, uh, I ain't got no more of this pipe for now. I will eventually get some, but that's what I need to do with that one there. I need to make that shorter. It's a little bit too long, but it is what it is, and it's gonna work. It's gonna get me back to work anyway. So that's that's where we're at at it at the minute. Oh yeah, let's do a shutting. In and for inspection, everything's gotta be tied down, so that's gotta be bolted to the floor, that's all bolted in. Um this is oh, that's strapped in. It, it, it's, it's nuts. It is well it in in a way you've got to do it for for road safety and like. So same with this, this little tray here. That's gotta be tied in. Everything's gotta be tied in. <coughs> but I've got quite a lot more gear that needs to come in this one, so I'm basically just showing you where I'm at at the minute. I'm going to put blast pot in. Um, ah, I've got plenty of room left, but that's basically it for its inspection and it's passed, so that's where we're at with And this, yeah, I had to do, to do all this lot for inspection. Um, everything's got to be bolted down or, or tied down. Uh, I didn't spot that, but we'll find his feet and we'll probably find that this side needs to be, I don't know, we'll put some more stuff in here. I don't know what we're going to put in here yet, probably probably water side of things, maybe chemical cleaning side of, we'll, we'll worry about that another day. We'll. This, this doesn't shut properly now, I've had all this bleeding front off. That looks it. 